Hello everybody and welcome to Mind Body Swing. My name is Simon Selman from swingdanceuk.com and I am your host. Today we're going to do our usual five a day but we've got some different exercises for you. We're going to start with a breathing exercise followed by thought of the day. We're going to wake up the body with some movement therapy. We've got a routine to learn and then we're going to do a little bit of stretching exercise at the end. So if you're ready, let's begin. But wait, before we begin, check the room. Have you got plenty of space? You're not gonna bash into anything. You're not gonna trip over anything. Got your dance shoes on? How are you feeling today? Know your own body. Know if you're tired, know if you're injury, and how much effort you're gonna put in today. Be responsible for your own body. If you're feeling a little bit tired, you've got an injury, take it easy. If not, work a little bit harder. Um, usually when I exercise, and especially in the morning, I just do about 70% energy because I, I just want to set myself up for the day if I'm doing this in the morning. Or maybe it's a warm up before I do uh, a longer routine. So know your own body and work to the level that's good for you. With that said, let's start with our breathing exercise. So without further ado, we're going to stand feet shoulder width apart. Think of where the balance is in the feet. Try and have it to the four corners. So you can think the toes, the back of the heels. So you're really nicely, evenly balanced. You're going to stand tall. You're going to breathe in through the nose, down into the belly. And as you breathe out, you're going to relax. But this time, we're not going to force the breath out. We're just going to let the breath come out with a sound. So let me show you once. I'm going to breathe in. And I'm just going to let the breath expel on its own. It's just going to come out. There's going to be a sound. Hopefully there's nobody around to hear you and you're fine. So let's go together. So a deep breath into the belly. One more time. Don't force the breath out, just let it come out on its own. Breathe in. And one last deep breath. It's open, and if you're ready, thought for the day. Maybe if I had a superpower, you know, if you had a real world superpower, what would it be? And I was thinking about that, and and I thought, actually, my superpower would be to have um, a super memory, an incredible memory, but not just the memory, uh, to be able to recall the information and to be able to process it quickly and to be able to bring it and recall that information when I need it and to be able to react faster. So that would be a superpower um, that I would love to have. So what would your superpower be? Maybe you wanna be super strong, maybe you wanna be impregnable to bullets, but I don't know how, how, um, how useful that would be in everyday life. Uh, so for me, it's the memory and it's reacting faster. So let me know in the comments, maybe what one superpower um, you would like to have, if you could have one. Now, like any superhero, if you have one power, that usually means you're super strong in one area, but maybe weak somewhere else. And you always will have a weakness. It's not possible to be good at everything. There isn't enough hours in the day. And this, of course, that's your superpower. You have enough hours in the day. Groundhog day, you can just keep repeating things. But I'm thinking, if I was to create my own superhero, what would that look like? What would they look like? Would I be Superman or Superwoman? Would I be Batman? Would I be Spider-Man? Or would I be Harry Potter or Gandalf the Wizard? So an exercise I've been trying uh, is, to be, is to picture myself looking and behaving, looking and behaving 
as that superhero? And how would that superhero behave in everyday life to become that real superhero? So please post in the comments, let me know who is your superhero and what superpower would they have? Time for some movement therapy. So this is where we start to move our bodies around, do as much or as little as you want, copy me, be inspired by me, but if you can, try and stretch the arms and let's warm our bodies up. So let's put a little bit of effort in. Sometimes doing this doesn't actually do anything. We need to go that little bit extra. Are you ready? This is Sugar Blues by Blanche Calloway. <laughs> going to start with an eight count Lindy footwork. Now you can choose to do it as a leader who would start on the left foot or the follow who would start on the right foot. So either one's fine with me. I'm going to show you the leader's footwork. Let me turn around. It's going to go step, step, triple step, 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 triple step. Let me repeat that. For leaders you start on the left. If you're doing the follow you start on the right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. But the rhythm is important. D, da, D, da, da, D, da, D, da, da. Notice I'm quite on the toes. D. I'm pushing the toe into the floor first. D, da, D, da, da, D, da, 
di, da, da. However, we're going to have a small change at the end. We're going to go one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm going to drop down and I'm going to push my foot out. So let me do that with the rhythm. I'm going to rock step on the first one, which means I rock back for one, two, for now on the spot, three and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One. And I'm going to push the seven and eight. I'm going to make the seven, I'm going to make the and eight rather sort of a little bit heavy and down. I'm going to go and eight. So I'm going to go right, left. Uh, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, burn. If you're ready to make it turn, make it turn. But maybe you just want to stay on the spot, that's fine. If you want to add the, the turn, follow me. Here we go. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. If you're doing it on the right foot, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. For this next move, when I do my rock step, I'm going to do it on a diagonal. I cross behind, replace, lunge forward, and peck, peck, peck. Now, you can do your pecking big, or a little bit more. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll leave it up to you. So we go, rock, step, drop, and a peck, peck, peck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put those two moves together. We go. Lindy turn, three, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our next step is triples. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So we do four triples behind. Di da da, di da da, di da da, di da da. As I do that, I make it, um, I call it a sailor step. And it has that illusion of doing the sort of hornpipe sailor step. We go behind, side step, behind, side step, Behind, side step, behind, side step. Let's do that four times. We go one and two, two and two, three and two, four and two. From here, I'm going to paddle around with my right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I do it without turning, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now when I say paddle, literally like you're in a canoe and you've got your paddle and you push it forward and pull you around. Around, around and around. Let's put those four moves together from the top. So swing out, let me turn. One, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. Rock, step, lunge and a peck, peck, peck. Trip. Triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do that shape quicker. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, triple step, 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 triple step. One, two, drop, down the pet, pet, pet. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. From there, we're going to go into a nice, easy fall off the log. Fall off the log. But we're going to add a coaster step at the end, so not so easy. So let me do that again. It goes kick, fall off the log, kick, coaster step. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five and six, seven. So we have that little syncopated move at the end. So we go. Kick. Behind. Side. Cross in front. Kick. Let's just do that much. That's a fall off the log or the beginning half of a fall off the log. 
we go kick, step behind, step to the side, cross in front, and you kick. So that part's normal. I say normal, that's classic. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Now on five, I'm gonna go behind on five, I'm gonna close on and, and I'm gonna shoot forward on six. So that's where the, the, uh, the trickier part comes in. So I go back together forward. And that's sometimes called a coaster step. And we go, kick, back together forward. Four, five, and six, hold seven. Weights on the left foot ready to move our right foot. But let's put the fall off the log together. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. From here, boogie forward, starts on the right foot. Forward, and forward, and forward, and forward. And back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie back, boogie forward, boogie forward, boogie forward, boogie forward. So you've got three nice easy steps there. After that tricky fall off the log, let's put those moves together. Kick, fall off the log, four, five, and six, hold seven, then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Clap and back, clap, come back, clap, come back, clap, come back. You've got a choice. You can either kick the foot or you can dig the foot. I really don't mind what you do. They're both boogie forwards. Boogie forward, boogie forward, boogie forward, boogie forward. And to finish the routine today, we're gonna to have a little tricky fancy footwork. To me, it's a bit inspired by something like Earl Snake Hips Tucker. It's, it's sort of a crazy legs type thing, where we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna go out, out, in, in, out, out, in. Just quickly repeat to get back on the other foot. So you go in, out, out, in, and then we start from the top. So let me show you that I'm really working in the feet. I'm going onto the, I'm rolling onto the inside of my foot, whichever's going first. I roll onto the toe. I roll around onto the outside of the foot. The other leg staying where it is, and as I begin to put the weight down, the other one starts to move, and it rolls onto the outside, and it rolls onto the toe, and onto the inside. And then I reverse from the inside, I roll out. And as I'm beginning to put the weight into my foot that I'm rolling, I start to move the other leg out, around, in. So let me do that a little bit quicker. It goes roll out and out, roll out and out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So it has a crazy look. Yeah. See so And think of it as the knee pushing forward. Shoom, 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 shoom. From the top of that section. So that's the second set, fall off the lock. Five, six, seven. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, and three, five, six, and seven. Eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The music is quite slow, so just take your time on that. You might do a really slow one and just finish on the right foot. As long as you're free to go back, if you start on the left foot, start on the left. If you're doing it on the right foot, start on the right. So we go, oh, let's go from that top, from the very top. Five, six, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. stretching and exercise. But I thought the, uh, the routine today wasn't as energetic as some of them, so I thought we could do a little bit more energetic in the exercise. We're going to do our squat, so feet wide than shoulder width. We're gonna push the hips back. We're gonna keep the feet flat on the floor, and we're gonna bend. Now, some of you may only do this. That's as low as you go. And others may want to go to 90 degrees. Push the hips back, keeping the head up, not letting the knees get in front of the toes, and coming back up and you really think push. We're gonna add the arms, the lateral pull. Lift the arms, the shoulders up, and as though you're pulling yourself up, doing your chin up, you're gonna pull your elbows down, and you're gonna think closing the shoulder blades behind you. We go up, and we go down, and we go up, and we go down, and we combine that together with our squat. We go one, and two, three, and four. One, and two, three, and four, we go one, and two, three, and four, go one, and two, three, and one more set, we go one, and two, three, pull the elbows down, four, one, and two, three, and four. That was our squat with a lateral pull. A new exercise today, uh, we're gonna come up on the toes, up on the toes, at the same time, we're gonna 
Throw the fingers out, bring them back. Throw the fingers out and bring them back. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're coming right up on those toes. Also making sure that your feet stay, as you roll onto the front of the foot, nicely square and balanced, not rolling onto the inside or the outside, but really you could balance there. You're pressing the big toe into the, into the ground and you can balance before you come down. Let's do another set. Maybe we'll throw the arms up this time. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yes. Oh, I'm feeling strong today. We're gonna to make the feet slightly wider. We're gonna do our Olympic lift, which means we're gonna squat one more time. We're gonna pick up the bar. We're gonna come up. We're gonna lift the shoulders and the elbows and the toes and come down. Now again, you might only go to the knees and come up to there. You may not even come up on the toes. That's fine, do what you can. But if you can, you push the hips back. You think, pick up the bar, head up. You're going to push up. You're going to lift the shoulders and the elbows and up on the toes. Let's do a few of those. And one, and two, push hips back, and three, and four, feet wide and shoulder width, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, one more, you can do it, and ten, yowza. Again, Feet wider, this time we're going to do some toe touches. That means again, we push this back and we reach for our toes. Maybe you'll only reach for the knees. That's fine too. Maybe you'll just reach for the knees, but maybe you can go and reach for the toes. But as you do that, the important thing is not to think forward, but to think back with the hips. So I go back with the hips. Okay, are you ready? Arms out, strong arms strong body, lift the torso up, keep the torso lifted, pull it in towards you, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Every week, we try and repeat some exercises and maybe add one or two new ones in. And you can go back and look at past weeks and maybe you can build up a longer set and combine some of the different exercises we've done into your own regime, put some music on and try them differently. The important thing though is always think about the exercise and try and think about your alignment and making sure that um, you're doing it in good form because that's really important. So, thank you so much for today. Quick reminder, in the comments, who is your superhero? Who would your superhero be? And what superpower would they have? And who would your superhero be? And what superpower would they have? Thanks very much, everybody. Do check out swingdanceuk.com. We've got a membership site, or we've got our free clips on YouTube. There's loads of stuff there to look at. And if you do, subscribe, hit the like button, and always, always make a comment we really appreciate that. Thank you, have a great week.